you guys <laughs> can you believe it can you believe it i can hardly take it in i can hardly take it in i would have wanted to like dress up for the occasion but uh it just so mm -hmm. happened to happen uh, at a time and on a day when um, getting dressed up was just not happening for me. So, uh, but I feel like we should be, we should be having, there should be singing and dancing in the streets. We should be having block parties and just massive amounts of celebration and partying because this is monumental is not even, does not even touch it. This is, this is a manifestation of the referendum on the slaughtering of unborn babies, um, the 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 legality of the slaughter, slaughtering of the unborn babies in our nation, uh, the refer the referendum happened in the spirit, and this is the beginning of the of the manifestation of that, and it is going to be a snowball effect. Other states are going to begin to follow suit. You just watch and see. I am so excited. I, I, you know, I was, I was sitting in a restaurant when I got the news and, um, having, having breakfast with, uh, Jonathan and a good friend of ours. And, um, I had to refrain myself from standing on my chair and, and shouting, uh, shouting for joy. Um, and, and then I, and then I started crying and I really, I really had a hard time, not just like really weeping. Um, I think if I'd been by myself, I probably would have just wept. Um, I, it's so, it's so huge. It's so huge. And it is such a victory. It is such a victory for our nation. It's a victory for the unborn. Um, <laughs> I couldn't let the occasion go by without, without sharing it with you, without talking to you and, and letting you see the joy on my face and, and just anyway. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And I, I think this is going to be like, you know how with the 9-11 attacks, um, people say um, that they that everybody re remembers where they were um, when, the, when the Twin Towers came down. I think this is going to be one of those occasions where you're going to remember uh, where you were when you found out that Roe versus Wade was overturned. It's a great day to be alive. It's a great day to be an American. It's a great, it's a great, great, great uh, victory that is only the start. It's only the start. <laughs> I can hardly take it in. <laughs> anyway, I'm so happy that my little boy is going to get to grow up in an America that was better than the America that I grew up in, in that regard. For my entire lifetime, for my entire lifetime, it was legal on the federal level to slaughter unborn babies. And uh, my little boy is going to grow up in an America where that is no longer the case. And I just can't tell you as a mom uh, what that means for me. And as far as all the other things, um, I am determined and refuse to accept that he's going to grow up in an America that's any less free than the one that I grew up in. So fasten your seatbelt, folks. Good, good changes. Good, more good changes are on their way. Love you guys. Celebrate! Eat cake! Go out to dinner if you can go out to dinner. Invite people over. Have a party. Celebrate. Don't let this day go by without marking it, without creating a monument. All right? Love you.